Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna go over the process on what I do to hand wash my Tesla vehicle. I recommend hand washing as opposed to going through those automatic washers because it'll just make your paint last longer. It won't scratch it up as much. Those automatic washers can really scratch up your paint quite significantly. So the process that I use is I use a power washer and I'm using a 25 degree head on the end of the power washer there. In terms of the soap, I use pink car soap. This doesn't have wax in it. and Particularly for my vehicle, it's ceramic coated and it's not recommended to use wax on a vehicle that's been ceramic coated. But if you don't have a ceramic coat, then you can obviously use wax. And then I use one of these bubblers. It's an attachment that I can put on the end of the power washer. I do about two parts soap to eight parts water. So about 20% of this is this pink car soap. This foams really nicely. And then I use one of these microfiber cloth things that you put on your hand. Once I have it coated in the soap, then I'm gonna use this to really scrub the car down. At the end, I rinse it off and then I dry it off with these really thick plush microfiber towels. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is get off any loose dirt on the vehicle with the power washer. So using the water to first wet it down and get off any of that loose dirt before putting the soap on. The really nice thing about having the ceramic coating is it keeps the car nice and shiny. You can also see how hydrophobic it is. The water just runs right off. So going over and getting any loose dirt off of the vehicle as I'm wetting it down with the power washer for the first run. So the next thing I do is hook up this bubbler to the end of the power washer after I've sprayed the vehicle down. And you can get one of these foam bubble sprayers on Amazon. The cheaper ones are 20 bucks or less. You can get fancier ones than that, but they do a really great job of getting the car coated in that soap so that we can loosen up the dirt. So now I can take my microfiber cleaner and I'm just gonna go over and wipe the car down to get off the rest of the dirt. After scrubbing the car down, we're ready to go over it again with the pressure washer using water to get the rest of the soap off of the vehicle. Make sure you pay extra attention to the front of the vehicle. This is where you get a lot of bug marks, dirt, things like that. Just make sure you really get in there, wipe it down good to get that stuff off the front of the vehicle. You wanna make sure that you rinse it off really good so that you don't have any soap dripping down the car afterwards that can dry and not look as good. We just wanna make sure we're getting the car entirely doused with the pressure washer water to get all of that extra soap off. Now with the soap all off the car, it's ready to be dried. I use these really thick microfiber drying towels and I use a couple of them. First I go over and get all of the thicker water that's on there. And after going over the vehicle, it leaves the first towel quite wet. So I bring out another dry one and do a final dry off with that. And then we should be good to go. When you're done drying, do your best to make sure you get all of the water off of the vehicle so that you don't get little water spots and marks that can dry and not look so good if you don't get all of that water off when you're drying it. And that's gonna finish off this simple washing process. I recommend hand washing your Tesla vehicle instead of going through the automatic car wash. Your paint will last a lot longer. Those automatic car washes are notorious for scratching up paint. If you hand wash it like this, you won't get near as many scratches and it'll just make your paint last longer and look a lot better. So that's gonna wrap this one up. So I hope this video was helpful going over how to hand wash your Tesla vehicle. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.